vertically and crosswise. You can write out all the steps, or you can add and memorize as you go and write out only the answer. Either way, it takes some practice. A number multiplied times itself is called a square. Take a look at these equations. Specifically look at the last digit of each answer. There's obviously a pattern happening here, but also you'll notice that when you square a number ending in, say, 1 or 9, the last digit of the squared number automatically ends in 1, no matter what. When you square a number ending in 2 or 8, the last digit of the squared number will end in 4 and so on. Let's try multiplication vertically and crosswise on 36 squared. 3 times 3 is 0, 9. 3 times 6 times 2 is 36, and 6 squared is 36. Adding as they're lined up, the answer is 1296. And that leads right into what's called the duplex combination method for squaring, which is basically multiplication vertically and crosswise, but specifically adapted for squaring. So we're looking for the duplex, which is indicated by the letter D. When you have a single central digit, square it. When you have an even number of digits, get the cross product and double it. It's wordy to explain, but easy to demonstrate. For 2, the duplex is 4, 2 squared. For 8, the duplex is 64. For the two-digit number 31, the duplex is 3 times 1 times 2. Or six. For the two-digit number 35, the duplex is 3 times 5 times 2, or 30. For the three-digit number 413, the duplex is 4 times 3 times 2 plus 1 squared, which equals 25. We squared the middle number and doubled the product of the two side digits, so we'll try another one like that. For the number 526, the duplex is 5 times 6 times 2 plus 2 squared, which equals 64. For the number 1234, the duplex is 1 times 4 times 2 plus 2 times 3 times 2. So here we doubled the product of the two inner numbers plus twice the product of the two outer numbers. Okay, so on to using this method. What's 39 squared? There are four digits in the problem, 39 times 39, so the answer will have either four digits or three digits. We're looking for the duplex of three, and then the duplex of 39, and then the duplex of nine. When those are all lined up and added together properly, you have the answer. So the duplex of three is nine. So we write 09. The duplex of 39 is 3 times 9 times 2, or 54. The duplex of 9 is 9 squared, or 81. Adding an order, you get 15, 21. So let's try 46 squared. You want the duplex of 4 plus the duplex of 46 plus the duplex of 6. So that's 4 squared, or 16, then 4 times 6 times 2, which is 48, and then 6 squared, which is 36. Lining them up and adding them, you get 2,116. So here's a three-digit number. You want the duplex of 2, then the duplex of 23, then the duplex of 234, then the duplex of 34, and then the duplex of 4. Line them up and add them, and you've got your answer. So let's start with the 2. The duplex of 2 is 4. Write 0, 4. The duplex of 23 is 2 times 3 times 2, which is 12. The duplex of 234 is 2 
times 4 times 2 plus 3 squared, which is 25. The duplex of 34 is 3 times 4 times 2, which is 24. And then finally, 4 squared is 16. Line them up and add them, and you end up with 54,756. You can write out all your steps, but you also have the option of adding and memorizing as you go.